This is a video about how to use the hand tool and the zoom tools in Beatographer. So the hand tool is this one, and this lets you move around the canvas. So if I want to move down, I can click and drag, click and drag. Um, I can also move around by hitting the arrow keys left and right, up and down. When the hand tool is active, you'll see this button comes up. That little red button you can click and drag like that and that rotates the canvas so you can work at any angle. If I click once, it straightens the canvas back to the original view, and then I can also click it. Every time I click, it turns it 90 degrees. So that's one way you can work with it really easily and quickly. Um, now, why would you want to work at an angle? Well, let's move over here to where I've got this little guy. This is a pattern that I designed at an angle. So I opened up a brick stitch project and then I brought in a photograph of an elephant to trace. And I tried him at all different angles and this one seemed to work best for me. So I liked the way the, the shape of the trunk came out here, the angle of the legs. And so this is the one I went with. But you can see that the canvas itself looks a little bit crooked. I'm going to zoom out so you can see better. And so you can work at an angle to get the shapes right and then you could incorporate them into other projects. Uh, so in the next video I'll show you how I'd make him into a peyote bracelet. So that's the hand tool. There's one more thing before we leave this that I want to show you that's really cool. Right now I'm navigating by clicking and dragging but if you go to the settings menu and go enable mouse scroll. That means when I go back, if you're on a touchpad, you can just move your fingers around. And so that's really handy. The zoom tools are right here. This lets you zoom in. This lets you zoom out. And we are working on adding bigger increments in addition to these smaller ones. But that's how you can zoom in and out, and the hotkeys are as shown right here, a plus for in and minus for out. So there you go.